right y'all I finally made it to the cemetery it's here behind me it's only about an 11 minute walk but I stopped to um, take a break because it's super hot and I found a nice shady park to stop in and uh, yeah now I'm here I'm just looking at some of the signs I'm gonna go ahead and flip this thing around and we'll get to recording Okay, here we are. I'm gonna start as usual over at the signs. They all seem to have this sign. Guess it's just letting you know there's gonna be plants. Don't be surprised. Okay, just looking at their do's and don'ts here. Make sure I'm showing proper respect. I don't have anything on here about recording, so I guess that's okay. They do have something about clothing, which is interesting. Hmm. And there's a map. It's like a fairly small cemetery. Well, I guess this is the way we came in, so let's just start right down the middle. Oh, look, we have more of the, uh, more of the columbariums. Oh, my brain is gone. I haven't eaten y'all, so I'm getting hungry. Running water, which is always nice. Look at this. Oh, it's a lot of bird poo down here. This is cool. Looks like some kind of odd <laughs> telephone, payphone box. <laughs> I'll just note that I just passed this odd building over here coming in and this is the backdrop for the cemetery. <laughs> I don't know what this building is. It looked closed when I walked over there so and I'm keeping my voice down because I'm near the entrance there was a sign about people talking loudly and there are people here so I want to be respectful so hopefully you can hear what I'm saying if not this will just be a video without sound and that's okay Just taking a walk. This is a fairly small cemetery, so I'm not going to um, get too much into what's going on here right now. I want to keep it quiet and respectful, as the sign asks. This is cool. It's difficult to see. The Last Supper, which is cool. Just taking no 
out. Okay, y'all. What is this? Let me zoom out a little bit. A little bit more. That is completely metal. It's got a name carved into it. Handles on top. But that is open. I believe they can remove that and actually walk down inside. Huh. Interesting. We're gonna go down this pathway here. At this point, we can see very similar burial styles as we've seen at the other cemeteries. Very similar monuments and memorials. The same symbolism happening. Everything is quite familiar to me at this point. It's kind of like I said at the last video. It's starting to feel like, you know, I've seen, we've seen one cemetery in Paris, you've seen them all kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, that's not the case. I saw three or four that had some very unique stuff happening in them. But overall, I think it's just the idea that these are very similar cemeteries in regards to culturally what they use. Thought this was unique. It does have a name carved into it. Actually that's not a name. It says something. I don't know what Looks like maybe there was something on top. There's three holes up there. One circle, two squares, and then a square one down here. Very sarcophagus looking shape. We have Symbolism in two different faith backgrounds in one burial location, which is interesting. Hmm, these plants back here are interesting. Um, normally we see ivy along the walls. This is not ivy, but it is filled with insect life. I see hornets and wasps. I see we call like sweat bees in America. Um, I see little small gnat looking bugs. Um, I don't know if you can see any of this on the camera but I can see it with my eyes here and it's a lot. It's like swarming. I would actually be afraid to walk any closer over there. And you remember I mentioned in the last cemetery, if you didn't watch that video on, um, oh, I can't even remember the name of the cemetery, the military cemetery I just visited. Um, if you didn't watch that video, you should check it out. But I mentioned in that video that um, the ivy was like an art form. Like it looks like they are purposefully growing the ivy in certain directions. And I don't know if you can see this here, but up there, right there, let me see if I can point it out with my finger, da, 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 da. where is my finger, aha, right there, there's a little metal ring with a string attached to it, that string goes down here, and the plants are actually growing along the string, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, there's a second string, 
that actually runs right behind this one here. So I do believe this is purposeful placement of these plants now. I believe they are guiding the plants along the walls to, I don't know what, provide decoration or, I'm not sure. But people do seem to like their greenery crawling the walls or climbing the walls up here. something we saw at the um, the Montmartre Cemetery. There's this big giant headstone like this that had fallen over and it had like these circular kind of grind marks in it. It was like something was ground away. And I sort of theorized that, you know, perhaps there were names there, and then people purposefully took those names out with some kind of tool, and perhaps to re-carve it, or maybe those people aren't buried here anymore, or I don't know. I'm not sure about it, but it's just sort of a theory that I had. Uh, odd part of the wall here, I'm not sure why it rises up like that. <laughs> I mean, there's a light post up there, but I don't think that's why the wall is raised up. I wonder what's on the other side. I think it's just a road. Um, I want to get across here, but I don't want to walk through the bushes. I'll go this way. Look at this like tiling used like you would see in a bathroom or in a kitchen. It's so unique. I have never in my life seen anything like this. Get the best view of it from the side. Look at that. That is so cool. They even did the stuff like you would see in the corners on the countertops and stuff. <laughs> now I'm thinking that is not like original to this because I'm looking at the stone on top and that is very very much decayed. It's very old, probably. I mean, the name is still very clear. You can see that. I mean, that's not going away anytime soon. It's very deeply, like, chiseled into the stone. But, uh, I just, I don't know. I'm baffled. Uh, has anybody out there ever seen anything like this? If you have, shoot me a message. Uh... Leave a comment um, if you haven't. You know, that's cool too. Because <laughs> neither have I. But I'm just super curious about it. What? This little guy's covered with ivy. I think. Let's go around. I still have not figured out what these things on the back of the stones mean. There's a lot of them. Almost every headstone has them. I can't figure out what they are. Well, that's convenient, huh? The name is carved on the side, so it's okay if ivy grows all across the top. There's some damage happening in here. And this guy. I don't know what happened. It's like separated from the side some kind of way. I mean, that's a big heavy stone to get separated like that. I'm just 
just briefly want to look at this. I've never seen anything like this either. It's pretty dirty. 1943 to 2016. It's not even that old. It's this dirty. Such an understated little burial plot here. It's not quite as big as the others, as you can see. Not as tall, not as long, not as wide. Well, it might be as wide. Oh, I apologize for the wind. It picks up every time I go into a cemetery. I don't know what that's about. Just like as soon as I get into a cemetery, the wind wants to blow. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Okay, look at this. That's beautiful. It just goes on and on and on. Wow. Gorgeous. Maybe an angel carrying a child. Seven names here. 2002 being the most recent, and 1905 being the oldest. It is just beautiful. Grab a couple photos. Okay, and then da -da -da -da, something odd happening here. So this is clearly how they cover stuff up. I mean, I guess it does the job. I can see some wood under there. I'm not going to be too nosy. There's some stones sitting on top of some wood planks. I don't know if something got damaged or if it's opened up for a, a burial, if they're going to have a funeral soon or what. It's still an active cemetery. They had something up front about no cars unless it's a funeral. Oh, look at the lovebirds. Hello, babies. Y'all aren't supposed to do that in the cemetery, though. I'm just saying. For those of you who don't know, you're not supposed to stand on headstones or burial plots or anything like that. And you're definitely not supposed to kiss. <laughs> That's cute to see the little birdies. I don't know what this is. Um, honestly, it's like some kind of offering of plants or something, but it's like all dead stuff now. It says down here, did you, Mar Marbury? But I don't know if that's like who makes the stone or if that's the person that's here. Maubry doesn't really sound like a French name, but what do I know? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Somebody made a heart. There's a colored rock. It's very interesting to see culturally what people do to remember their folks. This person died 2021. He was 17 years old. Yeah. So, a young person is there. Um, but it's interesting to me that culturally we do a lot of the same things. I mean, it's not a huge surprise since Americans copied French cemeteries from the beginning. Um, but the fact that some of these things have stayed with us is interesting. Wow. Very clear <laughs> wording there. The gold leaf is bright against that black.
I apologize for the noise over there, noise pollution at every cemetery. <laughs> every cemetery. This one is old. Is that 1839? Is that? Let me get a little closer. It's hard to see from this angle. Yeah, there's 1839, 1834. Oh, wait, no, that's when they were born. It's 1909. That's oh, 59. 1859 is the oldest burial here. That's uh, pretty epic. It's very cool that they, like the, the stone or whatever is held up. I mean, assuming that was placed there originally, which I don't know. Oh, wow, look at the colors on that. That's beautiful. Wow. I've never seen that before. That's just gorgeous. And the little planter box even goes with it. <laughs> Very beautiful. It's another old one. Tons of names on it. There's at least 11 that I can make out. Could be more. Okay, there's a lot to see over here. I'll check out this one first. I don't know if you can see through the weeds. It's actually the images of the people. This guy, which is in major disrepair. How did the stone get so broken up? I have no idea what happened. <sighs> oh, okay. It looks like it was up there. Sorry, I'm having some issues due to the heat again. But it looks like the stone was up there and then it fell. Just crumbled, I guess. Oh, I cannot win today with these temperatures. Poor phone is like <laughs> having a meltdown. I apologize, y'all. It's going to give me some issues. Alright, we're going to try to keep going. I'm going to see if I can find a shady spot to, like, rest the phone for a minute. Because at this point, I don't even know if it's recording my words properly.
Okay, I do apologize. I know the film is being weird right now. The film. The camera's being weird right now. It is too hot for my phone. It cannot handle it. So, for this reason, I'm actually thankful for the tree that I'm going to stop under in just a second. Let's see if I can't cool it. <laughs> in fact, Wow, it's almost like a breeze just hit me when I stepped under this tree. It's so much cooler. It's easily five or six degrees cooler. I'm gonna hang out here for a second and give my phone some time to like catch up to the fact that it's cool now. <laughs> Reminds me of the blog post I did not that long ago about um, having tree cover and how much tree cover lowers the temperature and how a lot of minority spaces do not have tree cover, which leads to um, hotter neighborhoods, um, hotter areas for children to play in and leads to a lot of health issues as people try to avoid going outside where it's hot they end up developing health issues like heart problems and diabetes and high cholesterol and all these things that come from not exercising let me see is my camera moving back to normal again not quite well this is interesting i'm seeing like a theme here <laughs> with these tile things. That's not tiled, but it's made to look like tile. I don't know what's going on with that today. This area seems to be in shade, so I think my phone will be okay. There's the wreaths. Remember I mentioned before about wreaths being a symbol of death here in France. Um, not like in America where people decorate their houses with them. Um, here, that's, that would not happen. I mean, I don't know about the whole wreath thing. Like, am I... Do I care if we use them for decoration or, you know, in cemeteries or whatever? Not really. Um... I don't really care for wreaths either way. I think they're ugly and I think they're a waste of time and money. But I know that there are people who live and die by their wreaths on their front door and having wreaths at funerals and things like that. You can see some damage there. Clearly there's some metal pins inside there that have probably rusted out that need to be replaced. That might be what happened to that other big one we saw that had crashed down. Probably those pins finally gave way and the stone cracked uh, completely through and it just tumbled over. And those kind of things could be addressed before the damage happens actually. Uh, and it's not that difficult to do and it's not that expensive. Well, I don't know about in Paris, but in America it's not that expensive to have someone come out and fix a couple stones like that. And that would be a high priority stone actually because if that falls it could hurt somebody so you would definitely want to you know prioritize that over some of the other things people might get fixed in cemeteries and I'm just noticing here this one that has all these plaques on it oh my goodness I wonder how much those things cost and how often people like bring them out you know is it like a every time I visit thing or a once a year thing or is it like for a holiday Memorial Day or something else this is this big giant guy and of course the tree <laughs> trying to keep to the shade Oh, it's like it's a bunch of families in there. Okay. Let's walk on this side. Now this 
this is beautiful. All the tree cover. So this actually feels like it's refrigerated right now to me. It's very cool standing here. There's a constant breeze and it's a cold breeze. It feels really nice. Um, I didn't point it out, but down there, there's a nice chair in the shade. And every chair I've seen out here has been in shade. So a really good placement of some of the amenities that people would require at a cemetery. Um, there was running water down there. There's trash bags or trash cans. Um, these are definitely necessities at cemeteries, believe it or not. Especially if you're going to um, an old cemetery that needs a lot of care. You need to have the means to care for it. And there's somebody walking through, so I'm just going to be a little bit quieter. Um, you can see here this tree several feet away from this headstone. But you can see the root, the root structure there coming up out the ground, um, pushing up against these two plots. That's going to cause some instability in years to come if it hasn't already. Um, you know, trees are my pet peeve. It's really nice to have like this for the shade, especially on a day like this. But to have the burials so close to them, and you cannot predict where those roots are going to go. I don't even know if those are roots for this tree, honestly. I'm just assuming they are, because I see some on the side, too. But there's lots of trees here. Thing. Let's see, this kind of marker here, this appears to be indicative of older burials. I've seen this now in several cemeteries. Um, it's the similar style and they all have really old <laughs> burial dates on them. Just trying to see the date on this one. It's like 1902. Mm. There's two families buried here. Excuse me. And this is the first time I've seen this. Just one little small guy. Taking up this whole space. <laughs> it's quite interesting to me. We haven't even gone to the other side yet. Alright, that guy has kind of walked on. I don't know if he works here or if he's just visiting. He just seems to be taking a walk which people apparently do. I've seen folks that are clearly in the cemetery exercising. Not just this one, but others. Look at that. Wow. That um, thing there is filled with rocks. Cool, huh? No, he actually might work here because I think he just took a key and walked into that building. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't doing anything bad. <laughs> Alright, look at this one. You know, it puts me in mind of some kind of uh, Celtic cross or something, but doesn't have enough swirly curvy bits so I'm not sure I 
want to actually out mist here. I kind of want to walk through. I think it's okay. Ah, this bones. <laughs> Bird bones. I've seen a lot of feathers around here, so surprised I'm just now seeing bones. Oh yeah, I saw this on the other side. It had the shells and the stones on it. Okay, but this, what in the world is this? Now there's a separate one behind it, kind of makes it look like it's part of it, but that's not the case. These are two separate ones. And there's actually carving on this part here. A tout mon père, a toi ma mère, tout le... can't make out that word. Okay, I got that word. So two words I can't really read. Uh, is it supposed to resemble something broken? Is it actually broken? I'm not sure. I cannot figure out what it is. It's fascinating though. Right, and I'll just walk back through and try and maximize this cloud cover I have for a moment and cover a little bit more ground a bit faster. Now this cemetery has a lot of brown stuff on the ground, but it's very even ground. Oh my! <laughs> I guess even with the flowers at the end, it can get out of control. Okay? <laughs> if I saw that like in a cemetery at night, it would scare me so bad because it just would look like a honking mass of darkness that kind of waves in the wind, right? <laughs> kind of where it is honking anyway. What does that mean? You might need to check the etymology of that word. <laughs> I feel like it's some bad. Like the root. Okay, and we're kind of back where we started. So I'm going to circle around to the opposite side. didn't really mean to get off track like I did, but it's okay. It happens. It's another one, like the one we saw on the other side, but instead of stones, it has plants in it. I cannot get over these odd buildings in the back here. This wall has plants, like upright plants all along the back of it. These are not your vine, ivy kind of growths. These are like bushes that have been trimmed to grow upright. I bet that takes quite a bit of work to maintain. But they're doing a good job because it's clear all the way down. And look at the evenness of the hedge, like the tree <laughs> hedge. That is amazing. Okay, these guys kind of mess it up a little bit, but that's okay. Everyone can't be perfect, right? Not even the trees. <laughs> so I wonder who goes up there and cuts those and how. Ugh, I feel like I'm getting eaten to death by bugs. I don't even see any bugs, but I'm hurting like something bit me. Like and subscribe because I'm getting eaten by bugs. <laughs> it's dangerous work. This is interesting. Madame Girard. Oh, wow. 
this looks like something I would see in a black cemetery back in the United States. I don't know what that was back there. It's definitely metal that got broken up some kind of way. We have again the column that's broken off. More symbolism in the cemetery. Now I've heard a lot of things about this. Some people say it's a symbol of um, like a young man who died too early. I've heard other people say it's just a symbol of like a life that was cut off too short or whatnot. Um, I don't really know what it means. People seem to be unsure. Maybe it meant one thing at first and then it changed over time. It's hard to say. Just coming around here to see, see a picture of a little boy in there. It's very young, maybe 10, 11, but I can't see names and dates. I mean, there's some names here, but like I said, it's difficult to see them. And there's some up there. I mean, it says uh, Notre Petite, and then it's covered up, so. Or little something. <laughs> Uh, just looking here. That's not good. That's really, really, really bad. Uh, did someone try to fix that? Looks like maybe they did. But uh, that is crumbling. It's absolutely crumbling. If anybody touches that to try to repair it, it's going to fall apart. So I can see like a million bazillion little cracks on top and it's actually um, uh, like natural growth up there growing in the cracks on top. So those plants have probably made their way into the inside and you can even see in the crack here some of the plant stuffs. Yeah, that guy's gonna need some serious work. Actually, oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Wow, y'all. This guy. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Somebody will have to tell me in the comments what in the world is going on here. I'm not sure what they're using or what they were using to fix that but that doesn't look right to me I could be wrong but that looks very not right <laughs> um, I mean I've never seen something in such disrepair to be fixed like this I don't know if they tried to stick like cement over top of it or what that white substance is I'm really not close enough to tell as you can see I'm pretty far back I'm like a row over um, but yeah, if you know what method was used to fix that, go ahead and post it in the comments for me. Um, and then let me know what you would actually do to fix it. Okay, yeah, it's definitely bugs like crawling on me. Okay, just hit two of them. Um, and then we have here, subsidence in the ground. Um, you probably can't see it very clearly. I can't even stand, but I can feel it when I walk. The ground is lopsided. But this guy's tilted. You can see it if you compare it to the one on the other side, how it's tilting. So this is another one that'll have to be fixed. Uh, and it looks like there's a crack forming in the middle. Probably as one side is sinking and the other side is like firmly set where it is. <laughs> it's just pulling that thing apart. Um, this... So, I'm of a couple minds about this thing. <laughs> People usually say two minds. I got a couple minds about this. Um, first response when I saw it is that looks a mess. Um, no one's cleaning it up. These are fresh 
flowers. They just leave them and no one's cleaning anything. Um, and you can kind of tell how old they are based on the level of decay. And you can see some of these back here are really bad. That's probably where the bugs are coming from. They crawl on me around these dead flowers. Um, the other thought is someone really cares about this person. They come out a lot. They visit this person. I just wonder why when they come, they don't clean this stuff off. Um, or is that the job of the cemetery staff? I know, like the one cemetery I visited, they have the whole, you know, using dead plant matter to create mulch to grow new plants. So I don't know if that's a thing. I was just going to get this crow. The crows are like everywhere in these cemeteries. First he landed on top of that pillar. I thought that would have been a cool picture. But yeah. Anywho. Um, yeah, I wonder what the process is for cleaning. I haven't seen any paperwork up front at any of the cemeteries that really explains it. But I also haven't been into the offices to talk to anyone to try and find out. Because I'm nervous because my French just isn't that great. Um, I definitely don't have like cemetery French. <laughs> oh, the bird almost fell. How does a bird fall? And yeah, we can see this one from the other side. It's just as much disrepair on this side. That poor thing is just hanging on by a thread. Alright, let's move on. We got this. I don't know what's happening here. Almost looks like a fondue thing. It's a bucket with some rocks. A bowl with some rocks. makes me wonder what the story of that person is. I've seen quite a lot of these uh, very flat, low to the ground, um, no names, no dates. I'm like, how would you even know who's here? I guess the family knows. Clearly somebody knows. It says, I'm my grandmère. Ses amis, ses colleagues, so somebody knows this person, um, but there's no information about them. And so I think about, you know, how um, genealogy is a big thing in the United States. If there was something like this, you know, you wouldn't be able to figure out who's buried here, unless the cemetery has good records which I'm hoping, uh, it seems that the French cemeteries have good records. Um, most of the cemeteries I've been to, you can go online and get a list of at least the famous people that are buried there. I don't know about like the normal everyday folks, um, but those of some celebrity, you can definitely get a list of them. There's a lot of like stuff in the ground. It's actually... Uh, marker stuffs there and there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I'm zoom you back out. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We're almost to the end of our journey, and the sun is really giving us a break. So I'm thankful for that. Just gonna wrap this up. I had to use my phone on this one because my camera, the battery, just. What am I hearing? What is that? Do y'all hear that? It scared me to death because like something's following me, and then I was like. Wait, there's a hole in here. Is that coming from there? Maybe it's coming from <laughs> the bushes? I'll walk with my headphones in so the sounds are... They don't sound as close to me as they actually are. But that got so loud I had to like stop and look. So, like, is somebody walking behind me? <laughs> this has been a day for cemeteries for me. Like... 
here I'm gonna stop this for a minute and start a new video and just continue from here and I'll tell you about it okay so this has been a day for me with cemeteries uh, this is the second cemetery I've gone to just pointing out some damage here while I talk um, this is the second cemetery I've gone to today uh, my time is growing short and I thought I had visited most of the cemeteries last year and this year, but it appears that um, there's a ton of cemeteries I wasn't aware of. You have to really search for them. Some of them don't even make the list of like Parisian cemeteries that you see online, I guess because they're smaller or whatever. Um, but yeah, the first cemetery I went into was completely empty. No one but me the whole time I was there. Completely quiet. Um, and then suddenly when I entered the military section, I started to hear like odd sounds that I can't really explain or describe. And uh, those sounds followed me <laughs> throughout the cemetery. Uh, I do think it was bugs of some kind, but still, it was just weird it was weird the way I didn't hear those sounds anywhere except for like right around where I was I mean I guess if it was I'm scared to walk by these bushes now after I was hearing that odd sound <laughs> you know I guess if it's bugs that are triggered by the presence of people it would make sense that everywhere I walked there was a bug sound so then that and the crow that started calling all loud at me. <laughs> it was all just too much. So I was happy to leave. Oh, look at these. These bring back memories. Okay. So, true story. Um, and I'm going to have to hit the uh, Forest View Cemetery up. <laughs> but <laughs> So, I'm going to flip the camera around talk to y'all about these things. Hold on. All right, so um, a couple years ago, I was helping out at a cemetery in Richmond called Forest View. Uh, it doesn't really look like a cemetery. It just sort of looks like somebody's backyard, really. Um, and that cemetery has a, a terrible time with, like, poison ivy and all kinds of other fun weeds. And so, um, yeah, one day I was out helping them. Um, I think we're trying to get like uh, the ground penetrating radar, ground penetrating radar done, GPR. And we needed to clean the ground a sufficient amount so that the machine could roll evenly over the ground without like hitting rocks or logs or, you know, falling into ditches or whatever. So we had to really clear the surface area of the cemetery. And in the cemetery, we found these little orange things and we were like what are these things they were like all along the edge by the road and there were like hundreds of them and I started just gathering them up because I was like what <laughs> what is this I didn't know at first if it was some kind of thing we needed to say for archaeology so we had like um, some archaeologists from the Department of Historic Resources come out and they were like, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, it, it was like a whole thing. And then we found out through some research, actually my colleague found out that these were like um, little, what are they, like little briquette, like balls used for like grilling, something like that. Um, or at least that's what they said at first. And then they were like, further research was like no these are actually used as fertilizer because <laughs> we were like they, they look too small to be um you know used for grilling usually grilling if you have charcoal these larger things um and these are very very small maybe you know about the size of a dime or a penny like in circumference um but yeah so more research showed that they were fertilizer and it's my theory that this is why the 
poison ivy was so, 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 so bad in the cemetery because somebody had thrown all their fertilizer out onto the ground and caused it to grow, grow, grow. <laughs> so we gathered up so, so many of these little orange balls. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember right now, but you can like Google them. Uh, and all right. The sun is back out. The wind is picking up. Um, I haven't really talked about this in my other videos, but cemeteries have like a pattern of burials. And a lot of times it's like a grid pattern, right? Um, similar to how we build our cities. It's like a grid. Um, and uh, most of the cemeteries here I've seen follow that. I haven't really talked about it much. Um, but this one is kind of breaking that pattern up. And before I show you, I'm just curious, is that like a ball? I think so, like a dog ball. There's not supposed to be dogs out here. Um, so you can see all of these are, I mean, they're off a little bit, but it's pretty much squares, right? Squares on top of squares on top of squares. And it just follows in a straight line. Very, very, very straight lines. Now, I mean, the size of the, the monuments and the stones here differ, but this cement border that is your straight line that marks the edge of the plots um, and so we go down to here and then we have these guys that <laughs> they just mess up the whole grid thing we had happening like completely messed it up i mean they're still in a straight row but like if I stand at the end of one of these, you can see how off it is compared to <laughs> that row there. Uh, and this may have been done because of the shape of the cemetery. It's kind of an odd shape as you get to the end. Um, but these ones back here were able to stay in a straight line, you know. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's about. It's just these two major rows right here. Um, yeah, it's interesting. And we are, you know, at the back of the cemetery. We've walked the whole thing. I haven't actually gotten to walk a whole cemetery, like, completely. Um, because of the size of the cemeteries and the limitations of my devices which can only record for a couple hours at a time you know I bring battery packs on top of battery packs and go through the battery packs um, it's a beautiful 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 uh, stone here I don't know what's going on like two different kinds of granite happening the, it feels like something you would actually see in a church. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm going to grab like, I can get in front and grab a picture of this guy. So beautiful. <laughs> the kid in the background yelling and screaming. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I mean, if I had to like rate this cemetery just for like ease of access i mean it took me like 11 minutes to get here walking um there's tons of shade so when my device overheats i can actually walk in the shade and continue to record which is a huge plus for me um and it also helps me to not overheat there's a lot of disrepair here but compared to the other cemeteries i've seen it's nothing like, it's really nothing. It's maybe like 10 out of, you know, seven, 800 burials. I don't know how many actual little monuments and markers there are out here. Um, but yeah. And it's small. So like I said before, I can walk the whole thing, which is super nice. Because I feel like I miss so much. Like when I went to Montmartre, I had about an hour, an hour and a half. I think it's more like an hour to walk the cemetery and it was so huge <laughs> I might have to go back it could take days to walk <laughs> the cemetery it's so big and I only got to like a quarter of it um, plus I had my friend with me 
I didn't want to like stress her out and keep her in the cemetery for two hours, but the cemetery was closing anyway, so there's not much I could do about it. I'm just on our way out now, enjoying this really, really nice view. So beautiful. Look up. <laughs> Have y'all heard of, uh, is it tree bats or nature bats? I think it's nature bats. Where you just go out in nature and like stand in the forest and like get inundated with oxygen from the trees, like very fresh kind of oxygen. And the cool air and the breeze and the sounds and everything is just sort of like a bath for the soul. <laughs> Cemeteries are cool like that too. I just want to remind everyone that these videos are purely for fun. There may be some educational uh, components, but I do not pretend to be a teacher. Um, I know a lot about cemeteries, but I'm still learning a lot about cemeteries, especially cemeteries in Paris. So, if you ever hear me say anything you don't agree with, it's okay. We can agree to disagree. And if I'm just totally wrong, you can always just place it in the comments. A nice comment. Don't be rude. But, you know, just place it in the comments. Because we're all trying to learn together. I'm taking a detour real quick. Because I saw this really cool ball. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So, man got some old flowers in it that have been beat up by the sun. Just caught my attention. Yeah, and I hope that um, there's any experts out there that you will comment. Um, I have a lot of questions in these videos and they're not rhetorical. I actually want answers because that's how we learn right we ask questions we search out those people who know the answers and then we begin to incorporate those answers into our daily lives our daily actions um, so I hope to be able to learn from what I hear and see and read and experience and hopefully be able to use these things one day when I start working in cemeteries again. And as you see, we have made it back up to the front. The cemetery does not have a grand gate <laughs> like a lot of other cemeteries we've been to. But it's still nice. Alright y'all, thank you for walking with me at uh, the cemetery whose name I cannot remember. <laughs> Let me go look at the sign so I can get it right. Ah, uh, Grinnell, the Grinnell Cemetery. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing some of the headstones out here. Um, I didn't really talk about much, but I hope you learned something or saw something that piqued your interest. Um, if you have never walked in a cemetery, get out and walk in a cemetery. It's healthy, it's good for you, you'll enjoy it. And they were our nation's first public parks. They are made for walking. So get out and enjoy. Thanks for walking with me on A Place for KP. And I'll see you next time. Peace.